The first thing you're likely to want to do as a developer is create a working copy. In order to do this, we're going to use the checkout command. We'll use the list command to establish what's available in the MO3LO3 repository that we'll be using for this exercise. The three top level directories found in the repository are branches, tags and trunk. This is a fairly common set of top level directories. And we're going to check out the trunk directory to a working copy so that we can make changes conveniently on our file system. Here's the basic checkout command. First we have the checkout subcommand. Then we have the URL of the thing that we want to check out. And finally we have the path to which we want the working copy written. Executing this command, we get the terse response that we have checked out revision 3. Navigating to the Subversion Guru WC area and then doing a directory listing on the MO3LO3 directory that we've just checked out, we see that we have three directories, many DERS, one and two. Using the subversion list command, we look at the contents of the MO3LO3 trunk directory and we find that this also shows many DERS 1 and 2. This is precisely what we would expect to find given that we've just checked out trunk to the MO3LO3 directory to create our working copy. So, the trunk directory in the repository maps to MO3LO3 in our working copy area.